let's see about abortion first what is the definition of abortion abortion is nothing but termination of pregnancy by any means before the fetus becomes viable so viability means the ability of the fetus to survive independently and the period of viability is around 20 weeks of gestation so the termination of pregnancy by any means before 20 weeks of gestation is called as abortion and coming to the etiology there are fetal factors maternal factors for abortion and in maternal factors further there are maternal infections systemic diseases uterine causes and immunological factors so these are all the possible etiologies for abortion first the fetal factors the fetal factors can include any intrinsic defects in the fetus or chromosomal abnormalities which is seen in about 25 to 40% of the cases and coming to the maternal infections the maternal infections could be any of the torch infections torch stands for t for toxoplasma r rubella c cytomegalovirus h for herpes and o for others which include syphilis and chickenpox etc and the systemic diseases like insulin dependent diabetes mellitus that is type 1 diabetes mellitus uterine causes like congenital malformations of uterus and cervical incompetence immunological factors like anti phospholipid antibody syndrome apla syndrome which can be detected by testing for lupus anticoagulant and anti cardiolipin antibody So these are all the possible etiologies for abortion. Next, the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms of abortion are first, initially there will be a period of amenorrhea. which is one of the sign of pregnancy then there will be abdominal pain due to uterine contractions and there can be hemorrhage or bleeding per vaginum because of the separation of the products of conception and there can also be dilation of the cervix due to contractions of the uterus and there can also be expulsion of a part 
or the entire ovum these are all the signs and symptoms of abortion first there will be amenorrhea followed by lower abdominal pain and there can be bleeding per vaginum this is considered to be a classical triad amenorrhea followed by abdominal pain and bleeding per vaginum also there can be dilation of cervix due to trend contractions and expulsion of a part or an entire product of conception now coming to the types of spontaneous abortions the types of spontaneous abortions so the types include threatened abortion inevitable abortion incomplete abortion complete abortion and finally missed abortion also there is one more type called as septic abortion these are the types of spontaneous abortion threatened abortion inevitable abortion incomplete abortion complete abortion missed abortion and septic abortion we'll see about each one of them in detail in our upcoming videos so this is all about a basic overview and outline of abortion the definition etiology signs and symptoms and the types of spontaneous abortions Thank you.